The first Injustice 2 comic just dropped this morning, and I've got to say, it's a very good read, and a great introduction to what's to come, and there was quite a bit of things revealed in this comic, so that's why in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the highlights and do a recap of what the first chapter has to offer. Before I start, I would like to give you a spoiler warning. If you guys don't want to get spoiled, don't worry, you guys can click the link down below, and you guys can buy it for just a dollar. It's not expensive at all, so if you guys haven't read it, Go read it and then come back to this video. If you guys want to see more recap videos for upcoming Injustice 2 comics, then make sure to leave a like on this video and we'll see if we can get 100 likes. And if we do get 100 likes, then I'll keep doing them. If you are new, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any recap videos. With that being said, let's get straight into it. In the very first pages of this issue, Batman is visiting Superman in the Red Sun prison. Superman is talking to Bruce about his regrets about what he did in the past, but he also still feels like he's doing the right thing, or he was doing the right thing. He mentions Metropolis being destroyed, Lois Lane, and their unborn child. There is also some sort of a flashback page to the death of Alfred, and all of his Robins being gone. We see Batman carrying Nightwing, who was killed before this, and he also mentions Tim Drake, or Superman mentions Tim Drake, which we don't see at all, so I wonder what happened to him. But the highlight of this is that we finally see Jason Todd in the Injustice universe. Prior to this comic, Jason Todd was never brought up, so we now have confirmation that Jason Todd was killed by the Joker like in his original origin, and right now I would like to believe that he is now Red Hood, but Batman doesn't know that yet. Maybe in a future comic we will see Red Hood and Batman first interact because I'm sure he'll be DLC in the game. Anyways, when Superman mentions Damien, we see that he's locked up in Arkham Asylum, I like to assume. So, I wonder how this will elaborate in future comics. After Batman leaves the prison, we see that Batman and Harley Quinn are working together side by side. And I guess Harley thinks Batman wants her to be his sidekick, but I'm thinking she was just being playful and just assuming things. Harley's daughter, Lucy, who was briefly mentioned before in the Injustice 1 comics, is also brought up again here. Apparently, it's her birthday and Harley Quinn was going to make a phone call to her to say happy birthday. Before she can do that, she was interrupted by Amanda Waller, Rick Flagg, and Waller's other special ops blasting into where Harley is at, and they're trying to capture her. She escapes from them on her motorcycle, but not for long, as Deadshot shoots Harley's motorcycle, causing it to stop and having Harley fly out of it and knocking her out from the fall. When Harley wakes up, she is in the Pentagon and has a bomb in her brainstem. This is all due to the fact that she has now been recruited to the new Suicide Squad, which consists of Deadshot, Katana, Captain Cold, Orca, Killer Moth, Claw King, Magpie, Captain Boomerang, Killer Croc, Man Bat, Polka Dot Man, and Calendar Man. Now, there's one person that I'm not really sure who it is, and that's this guy right here, but if I had to throw out a wild guess, it would be El Diablo, but don't take my word for it. And that, my friends, is the end of this chapter. What did you guys think about this? Have you guys read it, and are you guys excited to see what happens next? I think what I'm looking forward to the most is basically what this Suicide Squad is going to do in future chapters, since there's so many characters, and it's set up pretty well, and it's pretty simplistic. Remember, if you guys want to read it yourselves, then make sure to click the link down below, and be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more things in Justice 2. Anyways, my name is Brustball Productions, and I'm out for now.